What's going on guys, ZK here and today welcome back to some more Forza Horizon 2 and today is more of a chilled out video, it's kind of like a free ride slash online drifting video, don't know what I'm going to call it yet, probably just a free ride one but yeah, uh, today we are actually going to be checking out my custom Subaru Legacy RS now, uh, I was going to do a build for it but then I thought meh, everyone's going to do a build of this car and yeah, as you can see we've got Rockstar, Monster, everything on the side of it and the logo, oh yes. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and do some drifting, I think this guy wants to drift with us, so yeah, I've got quite a lot of questions from you guys from the hashtag EKQ, um, which I just started on the latest crew video, so uh, basically what it is, is that you can leave hashtag EKQ and then a question that you want me to answer in any of the videos, um, and I'll definitely answer them, because if I don't answer it in the next video, um, after you post the comment will be definitely in a future video so yeah anyway we're moving on to the first one and it is from Ibrahim Hyder I think oh shit I was looking at a piece of paper it wasn't where I was going sorry mate sorry didn't mean to do that damn it I hate messing people's drifts up I really really do by accident but he says will you be playing WWE 2K15 in PES 15 I am not a massive wrestling fan man and I'm not a massive football fan so that is a simple no for that, because um, I'm aware there's a big audience out there for like um, football and wrestling, but it just ain't me, I'm not that sort of person, I'm not really a wrestling fan, so uh, moving on to Mr. Fobahop K, I think that's his name, and he says, do you feel as if car games need to have interior customization, uh, aka like Midnight Club now? I wish they did more, I feel what I mean, I wish they did more these days, um, because they've got the technology to do it, they've got the actual hardware to do it, and plus that's what everyone's begging everyone to do, is like um, interior customization, more outside customization, like proper aftermarket parts and stuff so, because um, we've kind of been lacking in that, because I'm going to take Forza for a prime example, because back in Forza Motorsport 2 we had tons of parts, tons of aftermarket manufacturers as well, right? And, excuse me guys, um, they've gradually been getting a lot lower, I feel what I mean in terms of like aftermarket bumpers and stuff, now if you take Forza 5 and Horizon 2 for example, we've hardly got any at all, we've got hardly any at all, it's mostly just the, the Forza spiking is the, the, what do you call it, the freaking spoiler and stuff like that, so yeah in terms of all customization, I would love to see it come into Forza and any other games in the future as well because that's the thing that's good about the crew they get customizable interiors now obviously it's not as big as um, what you call it, Midnight Club because if all car games had Midnight Club LA sort of interior customization that would be absolutely great and would be mind boggling as well so um, yeah it's something for companies to think about that's the only thing I can really say in that question man so it would be great to see it happening because Especially in the new GTA Next Gen, because I think they are doing that. So, um, because one of you guys put up a post on Petrol Paradise um, on Facebook uh, about bucket seats possibly coming into GTA Online and GTA 5 Next Gen, because it was a bit in the trailer where you seen the Banshee, which is basically the Viper on the PS3 version, which has no bucket seat, and then there's one with Franklin with a bucket seat. It's crazy. So. Uh, also speaking about that, there's Neon coming over to GTA now, which is great, so getting back to the old Fast and Furious days, which is going to be amazing, because I, I think them days are coming back, there's a lot of people saying they aren't, they're moved, well moved on, but I believe they're coming back, because see if you brought Neon back in a more modern way, like, it, just treat the car the same as we do now, all the customizations, but I know technically some of the cars in Fast and Furious um, back then would be classed as racers now, so, um, but yeah, if you added Neon onto a car these days, that would be great. Uh, you need to just adapt it to the modern living and stuff and modern car culture, so, yeah, because I can just imagine like a Honda Civic EK or, uh, like the one I, the one I customised the other day um, with like sky blue or aqua neon underneath it, that would be really, really cool indeed, and it's a lamppost, holy crap. 
Didn't mean that. Um, now, I don't know where the hell them guys went. Are they still following me or? Nah, they've kind of went their own way, but I don't really care. Sometimes when you're online, you want to just... You want to know that there's people online, so you might be able to bump into them, but at the same time, you kind of want to drift by yourself as well, so... Yeah, um, but yeah, I wanted to jump back on the Horizon 2 today, guys, because um, I've been playing the crew for the past couple of nights. And I'm like, mm -hmm. I want to play the Horizon 2 again, I want to get my drifting on. Yes, I do, so... In terms of the Subaru, I customised it about 20 minutes ago, and it's very, very nice indeed. I've done the design by hand, by myself, and added all the stickers and everything like that. Now, don't know what you guys think about the rim choice about this. Now, I actually personally really, really like it. I know you might find it more like muscle cars and stuff, but I really, really do like it indeed, so tell me what you think of all the stickers and that, especially with the little furry logo on the side and stuff, so we're presenting, representing now, I can hear an engine, don't know if it's one of them guys, I'm pretty sure it is, don't know what he's in, I, can't, I literally can't see, oh my god, where he is, oh, okay, he's in a skyline, speaking of Fast and Furious, <laughs> my god, so we'll head down to Nice, we'll head down to Nice, guys, because it's basically Sister and Nice, which are my favourite drifting areas in the game, so as you all know by now, absolutely amazing. So moving on to another question, and it is from, wait a minute, I need to stop, I need to stop and look at them because I'd rather stop rather than freaking crashing into a freaking um, post or something. And it is from Mason Wilson and he says, when Jaguar first released the XK, did you think it was a V8 Vantage ripoff? Now, the Jaguar actually first released the SK back in the 90s, so um, if you're talking about the most modern generation one, like it was launched in 2005, 2006, then I don't really think it was a rip-off, but I think it was more of a rip-off um, in terms of like design-wise for the DB9, if you know what I mean, but you kind of you can expect that because it was designed by the exact same guy that made the, Z the DB9, I'm sure it was, so... Yeah, I wouldn't say it's a rip-off of the V8 Vantage, but more of a clone of the DB9, but in kind of a good way, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, I still love the XK bits, but the F-Type's so much better now. It really, really is, because the XK is more of the traditional sports car from Jags, big GT, um, blowing that older feeling. Let's just say it's the older gentleman feeling, that sort of. Yes, I'm going to the golf club today, dear. Or would you like to take the drag? That sort of driver, but... Whereas the F-Type's more aimed at younger people like me. But, um... We still have that sort of attitude, but not going to, like, golf clubs. <laughs> We're going to a club, but not a golf club, if you get what I mean. <laughs> um, but, yeah, it's... Oh, God! I wouldn't class the XK as a rip-off of the V-Advantage, more of the DB9. Uh, but then another question comes from Harry Cordery. I think that's how you pronounce your name, he says, what's your favourite song now? I believe I answered this in Q&A recently, um, but this changes from time to time and stuff like that, it changes from here and then. Um, but yeah, I, at the moment, I'm quite liking a lot of Ed Sheeran, Ed Sheeran's not a bad, a couple of his songs are quite good. Um, Cause that's the thing, I listen to a whole different taste of music, I listen to like dance music, uh, dubstep sometimes, drum and bass, some classical as well, depends on what mood I'm in. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know what sort of song at the moment, there's a song out called We're All We Need. I can't remember who it's by, but it's such a cool, uh, at the start you might have thought it would be like a little opera sounding, but it's not, it's a dance song when it gets into it, it's really, really good though, really, really ambient vibe to it, so. Anyway, this Subaru is actually pretty damn good now. I'm pretty sure I fitted with about 560 horsepower into this. Rear wheel drive converted, slam the suspension, 1.5 negative camber, and yes, yeah, it's just like an absolute peach now. I know there might be people saying, oh, you don't ever rear drive a Scooby. Come on, it's a drift build, mate. And then if I do keep it in four wheel drive, there'll be haters saying, oh, you're drifting in four wheel drive. Why would you freaking. I just hate people like that, I really, really do hate people like that, because I'm always like, drift at the hell you want, whether it's front wheel drive, I know technically that isn't drifting, but yeah, um, but four wheel drive, you can class as drifting, so that is just me saying that, if you want to start a war in the comments, bring it fucking on, I don't care, <laughs> bring it on, because um, you know what I'm going to say at the end of the day, I'm just going to say, drive at the hell you want, drift at the hell you want, so 
Yeah, it's mental. Absolutely mental. Oh, buddy spun out in that one there. Holy crap. Oh my god. Um, oh, he actually caught up with me. He actually caught up with me that time, so. Um, yeah, all leveled up. What have we got? What have we got? I'm not too sure. What is this? Shit, he just freaking hit me. Sorry, mate. I need to stop and find out what I'm getting for the wheel spin. Hmm. Let's see what it's going to be like then. Please be a, please be a car. Please be a car. Come on. What? We just missed the big box, man. We just missed the... the, 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 the we just missed the big box, but... Uh, yeah, and get, getting on to the topic of the topic I actually talked about earlier today in the crew video about the video camera. A lot of you guys were saying, oh, why don't you just get the iPhone 6 because the camera is pretty damn cool on it. So, um, I might get the iPhone 6 or I might get like an LG, the one with the new camera where it stabilizes it, if you know what I mean. I don't know if you guys have seen that on like some adverts and stuff on the TV, but it looks cool as shit. It really does look cool as shit. So, if I can get one of them and like a good contract or something, I might possibly get one of them rather than a video camera because video cameras these days, no I mean phones these days have beastly quality for cameras because um, my friend Andy, he's got an LG something, I don't know, what, maybe a Samsung or an LG but the camera on that thing, holy crap it's mentally good, it really really is and plus when you put it into like Movie Maker or Sony Vegas it's all on widescreen anyway so, um, but yeah I don't know what to get. I'm, I, a phone would do me good. A phone would do me good. Granted, I don't use my phone a lot, but um, I use it sometimes when I'm not on my computer. If I can't be bothered setting it up to just go, oh, what's going on in Facebook? Just check my phone. I think everybody does that. Everybody does that. So, yeah, that's the good thing about modern phones these days. They've got all the apps and shit like that on it. So, yeah, we'll take a little drive down to the docks. Oh my god, don't hit me. Please don't hit me. Please don't hit me. That turbo just made the car just stop there, man, because that's the bad thing about the turbo sometimes. It just makes the car just goo 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 and then stops. It's crazy, so... Anyway, that's a bloody nice-ass light in there. Oh, no, 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 spun it! Jesus Christ! Are you serious? Are you bloody serious, man? You could have turned out the way! You could... Come on, Scooby, move! <laughs> I had to clutch down and freaking everything there. Holy crap, but that reflection though. Oh my god, that's nice as hell. Group destination. Alright, everyone's down here apparently, so that is good. So in terms of acceleration, this thing is actually not that bad, but um drifting wise it's pretty good. I might need to fiddle about with it a wee bit more because um <laughs> it likes to spin. It likes to spin, so Oh that's another thing I forgot to say you guys, me and Andy were online a few nights ago. And when we came up with this game, we might even make a challenge video or something like that um, with this thing now. <laughs> it's pretty damn fun, we're about an hour doing this. And there's a little ramp over there, as you can see. We're basically trying to do the best barrel roll we can, and it was so much fun. It really, really was. So if you guys want to see a video like that with me and Andy trying to do more barrel rolls and skills at the docks, then let me know in the comments down below. Also some more hashtag EKQs, uh, that's like, you can ask your questions and stuff and I'll answer it, so, like I said, so we'll try and do some more drifting around right here somewhere, here we go, so, in terms of videos that I've got planned this week guys, I'm not too sure yet, tomorrow I'm going to be doing um, some more crew videos, now granted I'm going to be at work tomorrow, so I'm probably only going to be able to get one video up, so, uh, then Sunday I'm going to be doing, I don't really know, you guys can suggest some things. Make do another jelly build, because I had a hell of a lot of fun doing that. What the fuck? I didn't even touch that! Come on, I didn't even touch that. Holy crap, man. <laughs> that is mental. Anyway, guys, I think we're going to round it off here today. Sorry if this was quite a short video for me, because I don't normally do ones that are 15 minutes long, but you never know, you guys might like that um, for a change. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys. If you have enjoyed it, then please do hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new, it really does, really do appreciate it, that's what I mean. Uh, so yeah, for me and a couple of people that are here, and the Scooby, we'll see you next video. Peace.